In a small town, there was a detective named John. He was not famous but very smart. One day, Mrs. Green came to him. She was sad. Her cat, Fluffy, was missing. Mrs. Green said, Fluffy is a very special cat. She is white and very soft. She is also very smart. Please, John, can you find her? John nodded. He wanted to help Mrs. Green. John started his work. First, he went to Mrs. Green's house. He looked around. He saw cat footprints. They were small and went to the garden. John followed them. In the garden, John found cat hair. It was white. This was Fluffy's hair. John knew he was close. He looked around more. He saw a hole in the fence. John thought, maybe Fluffy went through this hole. He went through the hole. Now he was outside the garden. He saw more footprints. He followed them again. The footprints led to a big park. The park was beautiful and big. There were many trees and flowers. John looked for Fluffy. He called her name, Fluffy, where are you? Suddenly, he heard a soft meow. It was coming from a tree. John looked up. He saw Fluffy. She was in the tree. She looked scared. John smiled. He found her. John said, don't worry, Fluffy. I will help you. He climbed the tree. It was not easy, but John was brave. He reached Fluffy. She was happy to see him. Carefully, John picked up Fluffy. He climbed down the tree. Fluffy was safe in his arms. John felt happy. He solved the mystery. He found the lost cat. John went back to Mrs. Green's house. He had Fluffy with him. Mrs. Green was very happy. She thanked John. She said, you are a great detective, John. Thank you for finding Fluffy. John smiled. He was happy to help. He said, it was my pleasure. I am always here to solve mysteries. Mrs. Green gave Fluffy a big hug. Fluffy was happy to be home. The news about John finding Fluffy spread in the town. People started calling him for help. John became a little famous. He liked helping people. He felt good. One day, a boy named Tim came to John. Tim lost his bike. It was red and very fast. John said, don't worry, Tim. I will find your bike. John started a new mystery. John asked him where he last saw his bike. Tim said, I was at the park. I left my bike for a little while. When I came back, it was gone. John nodded. He went to the park. At the park, John looked for clues. He found bike tire marks. They were fresh. John followed them. The marks led to a small street. John kept following. The street was quiet. There were houses on both sides. The tire marks stopped at a blue house. John was curious. He knocked on the door of the blue house. An old man opened the door. His name was Mr. Brown. John asked, have you seen a red bike? Mr. Brown thought for a moment. He said, yes, I saw a red bike in my backyard. John and Mr. Brown went to the backyard. There was the red bike. It was behind some bushes. Tim's bike was found. John thanked Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown was happy to help. John took the bike and went back to Tim. Tim was very happy to see his bike. He thanked John. He said, you are the best detective, John. John smiled. He solved another mystery. As days passed, John solved more mysteries. He found lost pets, bikes, and even toys. People in the town trusted him. John was happy. He loved being a detective. One day, Mrs. Green came back to John. This time, she lost her keys. John said, don't worry, Mrs. Green. I will find your keys. John started looking for the keys. First, John asked Mrs. Green where she went that day. She said she went to the market, the park, and the library. John went to these places. He looked for the keys. 
At the library, John found the keys. They were on a table. Someone found them and left them there. John took the keys and went back to Mrs. Green. She was relieved. Mrs. Green said, John, you are amazing. You always find what is lost. John smiled. He was happy to help. He said, I am glad I could find your keys. John's reputation grew. He was known as the best detective in town. People came from other towns for his help. John was always ready to solve mysteries. John loved his job. He felt important. He helped many people. Every mystery he solved made him happy. He was a hero in his town. John was a great detective. One day, a big mystery came. A famous painting was missing from the museum. The town was worried. The museum asked for John's help. John was excited. This was a big case. John went to the museum. He looked for clues. He talked to people. He was very busy. After a few days, he found the painting. It was hidden in a secret room. The museum was very thankful. They had a big party for John. Everyone celebrated. John was very proud. He solved the biggest mystery in town. He was a true detective. John continued to solve mysteries. He was always busy, but he was happy. He made many friends. He helped many people. John was a hero. He loved his life as a detective. One morning, John received a letter. It was from Mrs. White. She lived in an old mansion. She wrote, Dear John, strange sounds come from my house at night. Can you help? John was curious. John decided to visit the mansion. It was big and old. It looked a bit scary. But John was brave. He wanted to help Mrs. White. He went to the mansion in the afternoon. Mrs. White met John. She was old and kind. She said, Thank you for coming, John. The sounds scare me. They happen every night. John wanted to find out what they were. John decided to stay in the mansion at night. He wanted to hear the sounds. Mrs. White gave him a room. It was big and had old furniture. John waited for the night. At night, John heard the sounds. They were soft at first. Then they got louder. They sounded like someone was walking. John was not scared. He wanted to find the source. John followed the sounds. They led him to a big old door. The door was in a hallway. It was closed. John opened the door slowly. He looked inside. Inside the room, John saw many books. It was the library. The sounds were louder here. John looked around. He saw a big bookcase. The sounds came from behind it. John moved the bookcase. It was heavy. Behind the bookcase, there was a small door. John was surprised. He opened the small door. There was a staircase going down. John went down the stairs. It was dark. He used a flashlight. At the bottom, there was a room. In the room, there were many cats. They looked at John. The cats were making the sounds. They were locked in the room. John understood. He said, you are the source of the sounds. He decided to help the cats. John opened the door of the room. The cats ran out. They were happy. John followed them. They went back to the library. John put the bookcase back. In the morning, John told Mrs. White about the cats. She was surprised. She said, I didn't know about the room or the cats. She thanked John for solving the mystery. Mrs. White decided to take care of the cats. She was not alone anymore. She had the cats for company. She was happy. John felt good. He solved another mystery. News about John solving the mystery of the old mansion spread. More people came to him for help. John was busy. He liked solving mysteries. He was a good detective. One day, a man named Mr. Black came to John. He lost his watch. 
It was very old and valuable. John said, I will find your watch. John started a new case. John asked Mr. Black where he last saw his watch. Mr. Black said, I was at a cafe. I left my watch on the table. When I remembered, it was gone. John went to the cafe. At the cafe, John asked the staff if they saw the watch. One waitress remembered. She said, yes, I saw a watch. I put it in the lost and found. John checked the lost and found. There was the watch. It was gold and old. John took the watch and went back to Mr. Black. Mr. Black was very happy. He thanked John. John felt proud. He solved another case. John's detective work continued. He solved many cases. He found lost things and helped people. He was known as the best detective in the area. John was always ready to help. One day, a girl named Lily came to John. She lost her dog, Spot. Spot was small and brown. John said, don't worry, Lily. I will find Spot. John started looking for Spot. John asked Lily where she last saw Spot. Lily said, we were at the park. Spot ran after a bird. I couldn't find him after that. John went to the park to look for Spot. In the park, John saw many dogs, but he did not see Spot. He asked people if they saw a small brown dog. Finally, one person said, yes, I saw Spot near the lake. John went to the lake. He called Spot, where are you? Suddenly he heard barking. It was Spot. Spot was stuck in some bushes. John helped Spot get out. Spot was happy to see John. John took Spot back to Lily. Lily was very happy. She hugged Spot. She thanked John. John was glad. He solved another mystery. As John solved more cases, he became very famous. People from far away came to him for help. John was always kind and helpful. He loved his job as a detective. John's adventures as a detective were many. He solved big mysteries and small ones. He always helped people. He was a hero in his town and beyond. John loved being a detective. One day, a big challenge came. A rare bird was missing from the zoo. The zookeepers were worried. They asked John for help. This was a big case for John. John went to the zoo. He looked for clues. He talked to the zookeepers. He was very determined. After some time, he found the bird. It was in a tree inside the zoo. The zookeepers were very thankful. They had a celebration for John. Everyone was happy. John was very proud. He solved a big case. He was a true detective hero. John continued his work. He solved many more mysteries. He helped many people and animals. John was always busy, but he was very happy. He made the world a better place.